Alrighty, boys and girls, I have fished a lot of very niche spots, and if you've been here for a while, you've obviously figured that out. If you have been here for a while and you haven't figured it out, then you're obviously not very observant. There's a snake, but uh, yeah, this is one of the prettier, more badass spots. Most badass spots? More badass spots? I'm not sure how to say that, but uh, yeah, as you can tell, very, very cool location. The water is super duper low, but uh, yeah, the fish should still be here less water same amount of fish and uh yeah sometimes there's some giants stuff and things uh yeah. all righty we made the uh, hour and a half drive down to this spot and i'm not sure what the hell is going on with all these q-tips but a lot of urban spots like this have a lot of weird trash and the spot is no different but today we have live bait we have lures we have night crawlers and we have shad so we have basically everything came super prepared and we're just kind of going for anything and everything number one species though on the target list is our first flathead of the year i know there can be some downstream there is some up in these pools and we're gonna we're gonna try to catch them it's uh they're starting to move i keep seeing pictures of flatheads i haven't caught any this year but keep seeing pictures of them so they do exist and they are moving and the water is in fact warming up and there's another snake, and there's another snake, and there's a gar. I don't know what kind of snakes those are, but I'm not in Texas anymore or Missouri, so I'm not too worried about it. Also, Missouri, we just, we made those two videos. That was really it. We fished a lot. I kind of got sick at the end. I just didn't record a lot. We did family stuff, so just those two videos. Thanks for the suggestions via email, and yeah, without further ado, I'm too excited. Let's, let's just, let's, let's go fishing. Stuff and things, but pow. Currently having some battery issues. Hold please while I go to the truck and see if I have another battery for this. I also need the tripod just in case we catch something good. And I think we're just gonna climb down here and try this pool. This is a soft shell turtle, nasty boy. We don't want him, but yeah. I'm gonna go adjust myself and then we'll get going and stuff. All righty. <clears throat> Did find another battery for my big camera, if anyone cares. And we got the tripod just in case we catch something good. Forget the easiest way down here. I think it's over here. Let's try over here. Me and rocks haven't been getting along this year, so let's stay away from those. The last time I fished here, the water was real low like this, and I did pretty well. I have fished it when the water's high, and I haven't done well, so... Even though most of the time spots are better when the water's high, in my personal experience, I've done better when it's low. Enough about highs and lows. Let's just get down here. Got a PBR for later if we want it. See if we can't catch something. Keep seeing signs of life. So there is some fish trapped in these pools. We got about everything that we know how to use to catch fish, so let's see if we can catch some fish. I'm gonna hold off on the live bait just for a second. I do have goldfish. And for anybody who thinks using goldfish is weird, it's kind of our only option, really. We have to purchase live bait. We can't catch live bait and transfer it legally in Nebraska. But if we buy it, we can move it from place to place and use it, so. Yeah. It is legal to use goldfish in Nebraska, if you were curious. Uh, I do have some shad that melted a little faster than I wanted it to. So we're going to start with some shad, a crawler, and maybe a square bill, and then go from there and stuff. All righty. Brought some shad guts and a little shad side and see if we can't get uh, something going. Besides the snag. One of the snaggier spots I've ever fished, obviously. It wasn't as deep as I was expecting, but... The fish don't have very many options, so... Hopefully it'll work. Something's hitting it already. Something already has it. That was fast. Thought I was seeing things, but I wasn't. I don't know if it still has it, but yep, got him, got him, big, big, right off the bat, big flathead, I think, right off the bat, right off the bat, hell yes, Jesus, that's a giant channel, holy shit balls, am I recording, that is a big channel for the river. That is a big channel. I thought it was so big, I thought it had to be a flathead. <laughs> Boys and girls, let's go home. Oh, shit. RD rod getting it done. I don't know how well he's hooked, so. 
We better not get too excited, but that's a double digit channel right off the bat. Right off the bat. Man, I was hoping it was a flathead with that. First five minutes, boys and girls. First five minutes, I'm gonna weigh that. I'm not even shitting you. I mean, I've caught some really, really big channels in my day. Even while ice fishing, caught a 23 pounder, as you guys know, if you've been here. And a lot of pond pushing 30 pounders, but for a river or a creek or a spillway, that's big dog. That is big dog. Alrighty, let's get this thing unhooked and get a quick weight on him. All right, all right, all right. Cool your jets. Cool your jets. I bet it's 10, 11 pounds. I mean, it's not a 20 by any means, but it's a big dog. It's a big dog. He wasn't coming off unless he broke off. <clears throat> Holy shit. I wasn't kidding when I said it was a big dog. 16 and a half pounder. That's intense, boys and girls. That's intense. Must be moving up here to spawn or something. It's kind of that time of the year when everything wants to start boning. Wants to start boning. Do you blame him? All right, 16 pound channel. <laughs> I figured we'd dilly dally with some fish here and there, but I didn't think we'd throw in a piece of chad and catch a 16 pound channel right off the bat. Sorry, the lighting kind of sucks, but I'm in the shade, it feels nice. Kind of limited on lighting, but 16 pound river channel. He doesn't look that big, but scales don't lie, unless they do. Ah, ah. God, I knew that was coming. Dick cheese. I got out of there in time, but he got me a little bit. Got me a little bit. All right, another piece of chat. Let's do that again. My day is made. Don't care if we catch anything else, but with that being said, I think we're gonna catch something else and stuff. Alrighty, little update. Not a whole lot's happened. I got my shad stolen once. Well, besides the 16 pound channel, that happened, but. Shad stolen once, missed a couple small fish on night crawlers, and the goldfish was freaking out pretty much constantly, but no other real good bites. Small pool though, there's a 16 and a half pound channel in it. You gotta wonder how much else is actually even in it. Saw some gar, saw some snakes, saw some turtles, one carp jump, but I think catfish over a pound wise, he might have been, he might have been the only one. So we're gonna go look for a different pool to fish, see if we can get across and go from there. There's a snake again. Um, doesn't look very deep, but could be deep. Water feels nice, I can tell you that. Good enough. Good enough. Looks like some kids went down creek. I saw them, I saw them come down, but they went to the bend in the brush pile I was planning on fishing. But that's all right, we still got options. Yeah, we'll go up here, try the deep pool that me and Colton fish. I'll link Colton down below. I'll also link B Jizzle down below. So I had heard of this place in the past before them, but I'd never really taken the time to fish it, so. Shout out to them boys. We them boys. And uh, yeah, check out their channels. For now, I'll shut up, and get our kitty poles in first, and then figure out what to do from there. I will tell you what though, that shade sure was nice. It's supposed to be 80 something today. Summer is finally coming. We skipped spring, but summer's here and stuff. That's a bite. Got one. <clears throat> Got one. Not a bad one either. All right, boys and girls. Some things have happened. By things, I mean a lot of time has passed. This is my second fish. And my first fish was at 10.30. And it is now almost 4 o'clock. And we got one. He's about 1 16th of the size, but uh, yeah, we will take it. If 
Been getting bites, probably from turtles. Missed a couple fish on night crawlers, but that is literally the second fish that I've caught all day. I probably should have gave up years ago. But I'm stubborn and I don't quit. What do they say about first cast catch is bad luck? That was definitely today. I'm not a quitter and we're still gonna keep trying, but yeah. It's been a rough one. It has been a rough one, but our shad is pretty much rotten at this point from baking in the sun. The majority of it got stolen by turtles and gar, I believe. And the goldfish maybe got hit once. I don't know. But we're gonna go fish the shallows with night crawlers and see what we can't scrape together. Fantastic start, followed up by a very uneventful five hours. And while that little channel cat wasn't too eventful, it was, it meant something inside, you know, and stuff. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I thought I was snagged and it's a fish, and it's a big one. I was coming to get my snag out, or maybe he pulled it off the snag for me, and it's a big channel on the crawler. <laughs> Man, the crawler. Is he hooked funny? He might be hooked funny. Weightless crawler, though. We gotta get this fish in. We gotta. We have to get this fish in. Oh shit. Am I recording? I am. Big dog channel. Not quite as big as the first big dog, but definitely bigger than the second big dog. And by second big dog, I mean small dog. I need you, channel cat. Don't go in the trees, you dick. I don't know how big he is, but he might be like 10 pounds. Let's see. <clears throat> Maybe. Man, these things fight hard in the current. Had catfish poles out for five hours. Mind you, I didn't have a catfish pole right there, but pretty shallow compared to the deep holes I was fishing with shad and goldfish. Come on, come on, quit being an asshole. <clears throat> Get over here. This river has some big channels. I like this place. At the same time, I hated it about 10 minutes ago. Stick is trying to pull my pants down. Come here, bud. Okay, he's nowhere near 10 pounds, but he did eat it. And he is fighting like a song bitch. Up here spawning, all blacked up. Male channel kitty. Fish number three. <sighs> you know, sometimes fish mean more than others. Well, this one's just a dirt bag, six or seven pound channel cat on a night crawler on a light rod. It sure means a lot. He was in like a foot of water, maybe. <sighs> maybe. Tiny treble hook. I don't even know why I put it on, but I did. But I did. Super badass spot. Super badass fish sometimes. But uh, yeah, I suppose a flathead just wasn't in the cards today, but we sure as shit will take his ass. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I finished my water about four hours ago 
and I am parched. Even though I think there's a lot more channels out there that I want to catch, I need to go get some agua before I die of heat stroke, but yeah, I don't know. I'll definitely be trying this place again. Definitely want to get my first flathead of the year, and I definitely want to try harder at flatheads this year. But uh, yeah, I'm calling it quits. It's been a long one. I was planning on staying for a while and giving it my best shot at a flathead, and I did. So yeah. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Really appreciate you watching. There's what? <laughs> Hold on. One of the locals is hollering at me. What's up? Go back over there where we were. They pulled two 30 pounders out of their hole. But we couldn't get a hold of them. Just now? Right really? Yeah, now we got four up. Deal. I'll go check it out. Thanks, man. Those dudes were just over there noodling by my catfish poles and said they pulled out two 30 pounders. But anyway, I'm still leaving. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Definitely appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. See you later and stuff. And thanks for how goodbye.